Hello friends, welcome to our channel and today's our topic is very important because in this topic we will discuss how we can make the checkbox with the task and after completing the task how it will show the completed status and how we will get the strike uh, on the particular task. So he, here you can see the example in which we have the particulars which we have to perform or which we have already performed like college fees it has completed and that's why we have just tick here now for suppose if I just complete the grocery items and now here it's pending and if I just completed it so I just click here trick and here you can see the uh, strike here and the status completed here so how we can uh, make such type of example here by using a very simple techniques let's look at it but before that it's a humble request to kindly watch the full video to get the benefit of these types of uh, stuff in the sheet first we have to just write here uh, zoom in so it will be visible to all the uh, audience now we have to write here first task and then we have to write here the particulars and the last one is status so you can write the particulars as per your own needs I'll use the same particulars as I have used here so just need to copy and paste here to save our time now I just need to uh, select all the cells and here you can see I just use your uh, central alignment and then I just use here the uh, thick border box and then all borders so here you can see it will be more attractive to everyone now what we have to do we have to use here checkbox uh, with the help of that checkbox we can uh, connect this to the status like if I just uh, tick on the checkbox so it will uh, tell us the completed status if I just untick here so it will tell us the pending so how we can use the checkbox for using the checkbox we have to use the developer option and in the developer option we can see here uh, the insert function and in the insert function it says the box now we have to just select the cell and here we will cut the checkbox but bef before that we have to just erase the written things in it like checkbox one so I just write I'll just erase it and place that checkbox in the suitable direction or suitable uh, way now I just need to track it down so we will get the checkbox in all the cells now I just need to link the uh, checkbox to the cell so how I just linked it I just write here uh, right click and here you can see the format control and in the format control you will get the box and in the box we have the option like cell link I just click here and select the uh, address like B3 which is B and 3 and dollar sign is to make the constant now just okay so you can see here if I just write your tick so it gets true if I just write here untick so it gets fall this is how we just need to uh, connect all the cells with the boxes so I just need to write here manually for all the cells I just go here and format control uh, perform the same task for the other cells and you can uh, write the cells or you can uh, select the uh, boxes as per your own needs and as per your own task requirements I just complete the uh, activity which is our link the cell so I have just linked all the cells so you can see here if I just tick here so it gives us the uh, true and if I just untick here so it gives us the false so now we have to link this uh, true and false with our status so how we can link first if it shows true it means our task is completed and if it, if it shows us false so it means our task is pending so how we can get this uh, status we can use here if function like if I just write here if bracket open if b3 equals to shows true comma inverted comma we will get the status completed inverted comma close as inverted comma it shows pending and bracket close like if our cell which is address b3 shows true so it will shows us completed 
bracket inverted comma close comma else if this statement is not uh, valid so it gives us the pending now I just press your enter so you can see here pending because in the background we have false now if I just write here uh, true so you can see completed now you can see it sh shows the same thing here like it has completed strike so I just uh, erase the strike so we can use here for from the uh, scratch so now you can see it, we have completed our first task which is to link the cell now I just need to track it down so here you can see it shows the same thing like if I just press here completed so you can see it gets complete if I just write here untick so it says pending now we have uh, erase or we have to hide the background written uh, words like true and false so how we can use we have to select all the cells and go here in the home and in the home tab we can see our uh, font and in the font color we want to write here white so you can see it is not visible now so if I just write here tick so it says completed if I tick it says uncompleted so this is our first task completed now we have to just make it more attractive by just uh, making it color and making it thick border box now we have just last uh, thing remains like what we have to do we have to use here conditional formatting to strike after completing the task like if we just complete the task so it will strike here and it shows completed so how we can uh, use such type of task first we have to select the uh, particulars which you want to uh, perform or we want to select all the tasks and after selecting the tasks we can use here home and in the home you can see here the conditional formatting in the conditional formatting you can select the new rule I just go here in the new rule a box will appear and the box you can see here use a formula to determine which cells to format I just select this cell and after selecting you can see here the format values where the formula is true now we have to write here the form like equals to and then we just write here dollar sign to make constant D our address D3 D3 equals to noted comma completed inverted comma close like this is our uh, statement like after first selecting all the uh, tasks we will go we will go here in the conditional formatting in the conditional formatting we will get the new uh, rule or new format after getting it we have to select the use formula and the formula we have right here like equals to equals to dollar sign for making it constant and d3 we just selected d3 equals to completed and if completed what task it will perform we just use your format and the format here you can see the strike so here you can see the uh, preview of it so a strike if I just click here it will st strike and now I just need to write the color as well so I just write here uh, some color here and just write here press ok press here so you can see here it has completed task and it has striked here like if I just write here uh, press or tick here so you can see the grocery and if I just write here auto finance so it will uh, you can see here electricity you can see here rent and here you can see if you just go again here so you can see manage and the in the manage you can see here format and here we have done all our things all over tasks which we have done you can write here italic as well so it will shows you italic like if I just untick here so it gets the same format but if I just tick here so it will strike here and it will shows an in the italic function this is how we can use the conditional formatting for the task and for the checkbox and with the help of this checkbox we will know what tasks we have completed and what tasks are still pending 
and thank you so much for watching our video if you like our video please share and subscribe thank you so much